Hi everyone and welcome to today's phonics. Miss Robinson and I would like to spend this week recapping some of the sounds that we've already learnt, but we're finding it a little bit tricky to learn. And we're hoping that in looking at them again, you're going to become more confident and then you'll be able to use them in your reading and writing. So let's get started. Today's sound that we're going to recap is a stretchy sound. My turn. Brilliant. So remember this one? Mrs. Philly says you can lick your tongue out at her. So you put your tongue between your teeth and you go. One more time. Excellent. Well done. So let's have a look at our pitch cards. So I'll go first and then you repeat after me. You ready? Three. Throne. Thumb. Excellent. Well done. Let's mix them up and let's do them again. Throne, thumb, three. Excellent, well done. We're going to do it one more time, but I'm not going to give you any help this time. It's you on your own. Let's go. Fantastic, well done. Give yourselves a little very clap. Just celebrate how amazing you're doing. So, if you remember, on our sound card, our th sound looks like this. And it has two letters making one sound. So when we see this side on our sound card, we say th, th, th. Brilliant, well done reception. On the other side, we have our picture to help us remember it. We have our tower and we have our horse. And the saying that goes with it is, the princess in the tower is rescued by the horse. She says, Thank you. Now that's quite long, so we're going to shorten it a little bit to make it a little bit easier, and we're going to say, thank you. What are we going to say? Thank you. Brilliant. So when we see this side of our card, we say thank you. When we see this side, we say, th. you ready? Let's get spinning. And it is the thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Up to the top. Up to the top again. Thank you. Up to the side. Up to the other side. Thank you. And one more down the bottom. Brilliant. Well done. So let's pop our sound card in with all of our others. And let's have a look at all the sounds that we now know. We're going to start with our picture side first. So you're gonna tell me the object. Off we go. I think I stink. Snake. Dinosaur. Boot. Mountain. Yuck. Queen. Insect. Kangaroo. Jack in the box. Vulture. Leg. Thank you. Well done if you got the sound of the day. Egg. The horse sneezes when the caterpillar's hairs get up his nose. Zip. Caterpillar. Flower. Net. Girl. Umbrella. Worm. Robot. A thing on a string. Shh, says the horse to the hissing snake. Apple. Exercise. Orange. Pirate. Horse. Tower. Brilliant stuff. Let's turn them over and let's do our sounds. Tower. It's not tower. What's Mrs. Finley doing? We're doing our sounds. <gasps> Gotta keep an eye on me, reception. Let's try that one again. You ready? Ah. Ah. Shh. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. B. 
mud. Hopefully I got them all right once we got started. Good job. So what we're going to do now is have a little practice of writing our sound. So if you remember, it has the two letters making the one sound. And it starts with our t. So as with any letter, we're going to scoop up. And we scoop the t right to the top. So we go scoop it up down the tower make sure you go down that same line and flick and across the tower so it's really important this letter you go up and down that same line we then have our sound and again we scoop it up to the top and it is as tall as the t sound so we scoop it up we go down the head to the hooves again following that same line we then go over his back and flick. And if you look, our line on our tower and the top where we go over are the same size. Pause video and have a go at practicing writing your th sound. Remember to practice it a few times to get it really stuck in your brain. Off you go. Okay, so let's practice writing a few of our other sounds. The first one we're gonna practice is an I for our insect. So as always, we're gonna scoop it up. So we scoop up, down his body and flick, and a dot for his head. Nice and simple. Pause the video and have a go. Good job. So let's rub our it off, get our pack of sounds, and this time we're gonna do our F for egg. Okay, thinking carefully of our rhyme. We are gonna put our pen on the paper. We are gonna scoop it up. And this time we scoop up. We're gonna lift off the top, scoop out the egg and flick. Let's watch that one again. We do struggle with this one. So we're gonna put our pen on paper. We are gonna scoop up. We're gonna lift off the top, scoop out the egg and flick. Good. I'd like you to pause the video and have a go. Off you go. Okay, let's do one more sound to practice. Get our big pack, and we're gonna do our zzz. It's for zip, zzz, zip. Okay, so we are going to, you like this one, don't you? I think it's the rhyme that you love. So as always, we're gonna scoop it up. So we scoop up, and we go zig, zag, zig, flick. Enjoy having a go at that one reception. Pause the video now. Brilliant. Okay, so now that we have done our sounds, we are going to have a go at our Fred talk. So here he is. He's missing you all very much, but he is having great fun in my house, don't you worry. So, Fred, can you tell me some of the words that we're going to have a go at the sound and out here today? Here we go. I, mm. Brilliant, it was th, I, n, thin. Next one, please, Fred. Th, I, k. Brilliant, well done if you said th, I, k, thick. Next one. Th, I, s. Brilliant, it was th, I, s, this. Next one, please, Fred. It is th, uh, mm. It was th, uh, mm, thumb. Brilliant. Next one. Here we go. Th, r, e. Well done. A little bit tricky that one. So well done. If you knew it was th, r, e, three. Well done. Next one, Fred. Oh, it's a nonsense word reception. Are you ready? Nonsense. Next one, Fred. Okay, it is th up. Th up. Th up. Nonsense word. Good job, reception. 
Now, just to finish, we are going to add in a little bit of Fred Fingers because you are getting so good at it, good at it. I want you to do a little bit of extra practice. So we're going to have a go at using our Fred Fingers to write some of the words that Fred has just given us. So the first one that we're going to write is going to have three sounds. So you're going to need three Fred Fingers facing you, your pen in your writing hand, ready to go. So we're going to swipe the word first, and the word is thin. I, n, thin. And then we're going to have a go at writing it. So we have I, n, thin. Pause the video and have a go at using your Fred fingers to write the word thin. Off you go. Good job. Let's have a go at another one. This time we're going to have a go at writing the word. Again, that has three sounds. So three Fred fingers, pen in your writing hand. The word this time, let's swipe it, is thick. 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 Well done. Once you've swiped it and you've squeezed it, we have a go at writing it. So it's that sound to start with. Oh, I can't remember what comes next. So we go back to our Fred fingers if we're not sure and we swipe it again. Thick. next and then our final sound was that k sound and remember when a k comes at the end lots of the time it is the curly k and the kicking k together pause the video and have a go at writing the word thick brilliant reception so the last word that we're going to write for today is the word this so get it's got three sounds so get your three red fingers you're going to strike the word this, th, it's this. So again, starting with that th sound, which is our sound of the day. And then our i. Oh, and the last sound was this, th, it's this, ends in that s sound. Brilliant work. Pause the video and have a go at writing it. Brilliant reception. You have done amazing. So I hope recapping that sound has helped you to feel a little, more, a little bit more comfortable with reading and writing it. Have a great day reception and I will see you soon. Bye.